All right, guys, Panda back with you. Yeah, after that rude interruption by a security orb set to zero seconds and, yeah, auto teleport. Yeah, that's, oh, I hate that shit. Let me tell you what. <clears throat> Other thing I'm noticing, too, there's a lot more people that are present in their properties, and I'm sure that probably has to do with, uh, the coronavirus and everything going on and the lockdowns and stuff, you know, throughout the world. So, yep. Definitely a thing. Definitely real. But anyways, yeah, I'm here for your entertainment. Give you something to laugh at. Help keep your mind off of things, you know. Found this little uh, hidden, tucked away area here. Someone's little piece of heaven slice of pie kind of check it out get an idea of what's going on here kind of nice looking you know see what kind of things they have here nice little shower going here too looks like someone was in the shower recently Ooh, yeah we got a love raft out here it looks like oh yeah Lorenzo yeah, it's a good uh, creator there. Makes some really good products. You know, one of many that makes really good products. And it looks like we've frozen up briefly there. That seems to be happening quite often here in Second Life now. I'm not sure why I keep having that kind of a problem. What we got here, we got a little bar. Just a bar stool. Got a hammock. Nice. Let's go up here and check out the living quarters. I'm a goat. I can't make that much of a mess, right? I don't think so. Hanging. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the goat enters. Well, that's a different bed. I don't think I've seen a bed like that. Ooh, land impact of 15. That's a good size bed. I've got some beds that actually have land impact up to almost 30, but they are highly detailed. Yeah, crazy stuff. Let me tell you what. It's kind of nice, though, how they uh, have this thing done. What's We got a, another room up here, or is that just like for looks? Oh, no. Actually, there is steps there. I don't think my little goat hooves can get me up there. Oh... Come on, goat. Man, what the world. Maybe it fly? Fly like a goat? There we go. Now, these places are not designed for goats. I swear to God. Probably a barn. <laughs> barn better yet, right? <laughs> oh, there's our bathroom. Look at that. Hidden away. And we have another secret up here. Look at that. Oh, we got another little bed up here in the loft kind of nice bathroom I like the bathroom setup actually yeah this is actually pretty cool you have your toilet in here your sink over here you have your outdoor shower outside on the sand so I guess you know you can get up in the morning come here and uh, do your business right there see that Or, I don't know, maybe walk outside, take a shower first. Of course, that just kind of depends on <laughs> how you go about doing things, right? Oh, man, this is not going to turn out good for the goat. Oh, there we go. Goat rescue. Yeah, just checking things out there. A lot of people sure have the, you know, yeah, you know, I definitely prefer the security orbs compared to those ungodly yellow band lines. I mean, those things are just so horrible. And if you've ever had land and then like someone moves in and they stick those things up and then every time you're in your house or right next to that side of the land, you see the band lines all the time. Yeah, you know, you can apparently go to settings and make it to where you don't see those but 
the fact of the matter is, why should you be inconvenienced at all? You know, that's the whole point. I mean, it's just stupid. But that's my rant. So, <laughs> yeah, kind of nice little places, you know. I'm not here to cause any harm or any type of grief by any means, you know. But, you know, a lot of people, they like their privacy. I totally understand that. You know, I'm the same way. But that's only really to protect the people, depending on the type of content I may have on my land, you know. Then I set my settings a certain way so I don't run into problems with people coming there that should not be there due to various reasons. You know, so when I put up things that would ban people, or not ban them, but kick them off the property... I do that to protect people that come to my other adult club, for example. Yes, I've had to ban people that try to make trouble, that are griefers, or that are violating outright, you know, the TOS and Second Life, you know, as far as factors go. You know, you can click all your land settings, you know, and follow the rules to a T, but that's not going to stop people from trying to do stuff nonetheless so always keep that in mind you know you have to be vigilant too if you're a landowner a club owner and you got to do certain things i mean but don't be an asshole or prick about it unless you've really been given a reason to do that you know we may have a lot of people you know online all around the world but trust me you get a bad reputation in this game you know by doing people wrong or something like that oh believe me it, it will catch up with you and follow you around so Anyways, guys, hope you're all keeping safe. You know, we all know what's going on around the world. You know, let's not get stressed out about stuff. Use that energy. Be proactive. Do the right stuff you can do. And I will just take advantage of the extra time myself and come out and explore when I can actually enter land without being rudely teleported into some black hole. Give you guys some entertainment, okay? Anyways, guys, God bless and peace out.